Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nowadays I'm flying uh, the Captain Sims Boeing 777-300ER and I'm just really enjoying uh, the flights. I've done one video uh, from Dubai to Karachi uh, and um, this video is there on my channel. You can just go and watch it and you can see that um, um, there's no issue with this plane and with the recent updates all the issues have been fixed because uh, initially uh, this plane had some issues back in 2021 when, when it was launched. Uh, but there was one problem which I faced uh, uh, during the startup and that was uh, the floodlights and the dome lights uh, for the cockpit. Uh, they were not uh, on and I couldn't turn them on uh, from the cockpit controls. Uh, so let's uh, turn on the, the battery and also turn on the external power. As you can no now see in the morning it doesn't make any difference. But if it's night time then it gets a bit difficult because uh, only the back lights are on for the mode control panel, for the pedestal and for the overhead panel. But the rest of the um, floodlights are not on. Uh, you cannot interact with them. You can see I was like trying a lot to interact with the controls and especially the glare shield. You can see it's working, but the flood for the glare shield is not working as you can see. So everything was like kind of off so i was uh, very much disappointed because i wanted to do a, a, a flight in the night time then i was just like uh, hitting different keys and i found out a shortcut key uh, for the lights uh, for the for, for the microsoft light simulator but obviously it also works for this plane and this is uh, space bar l so you keep on pressing the space bar and press l it turns on all the lights uh, inside the cockpit and uh, plus the external lights as you can see the external lights are also on but at the tarmac, as you don't uh, turn on uh, the external lights, you can press Control L to turn them off. If I go out, I can show you that all the lights are off now, except for the wing lights and the nose wheel li light. This what you can turn off in the cockpit. And that's it. So now if you go out, you can see all the external lights are off except for the nav lights and the beacon and plus uh, the logo light which I kept on. So this is how you can uh, turn on the cockpit lights. If I press spacebar L once again, all the lights then go off and I press spacebar L, all the lights come back to life. Control L, turn off the external lights and then turn off these lights as you don't need them once you are parked and that's it and then you can control the brightness you see now you can control the brightness and uh, that's it I think you can also interact with the with the floodlight over here on the primary flight display and the navigation display then you can adjust it accordingly as per your convenience so this was a short video which I wanted to do for all of you because once I uh, faced this problem I was looking for a solution on the internet I couldn't find it so I thought of making this video it's a short one. I hope uh, you like this video and it will also solve your problem if you have faced this issue in the Captain Sims Boeing 777-300 ER. With this, I would just like to end my video. If you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comments section. And if you want to add anything else to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.